Hey, hey, I'm here to say, what kind of questions are you gonna ask me today? Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh, and I'm an occupational therapist. Oh, thank you so much for joining me today on Toilet Talk. Uh, today we're doing things a little bit differently. I am on, I am asking you to tell me your questions, ask me your questions about any and all things toileting. I am so excited. Please don't feel um, too ashamed. Don't feel too embarrassed. There are no dumb or silly questions. Um, anything about toileting, you could ask me about wiping, you could ask me about different equipment for wiping, you can ask me about anything about the uh, toilets, clothing, uh, wet wipes, whatever it is, just put it in the comments down below and I will be so happy to address that. Now I did have, I, I asked for people to send me questions if they wanted um, to be a little bit more private about things. And so um, I got some questions in and I will go ahead and start with one of the questions that I had to give you some time to think about what it is. If you're just happy to be here, just please put a little heart in the comments and I'm just so happy to see you. So. We'll start off with one of the questions that I have, which is if somebody doesn't have uh, like a wall next to their toilet or if they don't have the like the the bathrooms too small and like the tub and the toilet and the sink are like right next to each other. What are some options that people can use to help with getting on and off the toilet and um, using something to hold on to while they wipe and clean up their bottoms? So, oh, thank you so much, Puncty Julia. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so I have a lot of different options for people. And so I will, I will give you the options that I know of. Um, I will also say if you are not entirely sure what would work be best for your situation or for your bathroom, please feel free to contact your friendly neighborhood occupational therapist to come on over and help you figure that out for your bathroom. So I will say that um, I do sell Ponte Julio products, so I will um, talk to you about a couple of things first um, that you can actually find in my store and my store is in my link in the bio. So if you don't have a wall next to your toilet or you're just not entirely sure of the setup, that's okay. There are a lot of different options. So the first thing I'll get started with is um, there are a lot of grab bars that can do a wall to floor option like this one. This is a U-shaped one with a, um, um, a grab or part of the grab bar goes into the floor. So um, these actually have like big um, uh, flanges that go on. So you would put this part against the wall and then you would put this part into the floor. And so this is a really nice option if you don't have a wall right next to your toilet. You could install this into the wall next to the toilet tank. So I'm sorry, I would show you on my set, but I'm actually in the process of totally redoing it so I don't have my toilet on in my bathroom right now. So otherwise I would have shown you, but I will be making another video on this so you can see what it looks like. And then you can also check out some pictures on my website, my toilet talk store, um, that give you a better idea of how this works. But this is really nice. Um, with these kind of stainless steel grab bars, if um, I've actually run into some people who've said, oh, I have concrete in my wall. Um, I don't have any studs in my wall, any kind of blocking. That's okay, these are made in Italy. And in Italy, they are so used to installing grab bars into concrete. So what they use is they'll use stainless steel screws to install the grab bar into the wall. And if you put some caulking in there to help with waterproofing, you definitely won't have any problems with rust or anything um, not staying in place over time. So that's that's the good news. You could also use what's called external blocking. And basically external blocking is using different kinds of studs or any kind of plywood, any spare wood that you could put on the wall next to your toilet 
And so it would stick out a little bit, but then you'd be able to screw the grab bar into the wall. So that can be really helpful. External blocking for people who don't have any kind of wall or infrastructure next to the toilet for a traditional grab bar. So here is this one. It's this U-shaped one again. I also have, um, what you would do that would be really similar is I have a wall to floor grab bar. And again, this one is in my toilet talk store if you wanna go check it out. Um, it would be the exact same thing where it would be installed into the wall, whether it's concrete, whether it's um, the studs are, that are in the wall, if it's external blocking, you would use um, stainless steel screws to have this installed into the wall. And then this part would go directly into the floor. And actually with this um, outrigger here, um, I've done other videos in the past, so if you have any questions, let me know. I'm so happy to send you the link where what, what this looks like it, exactly next to my toilet where it's all installed and everything. Um, I'm so happy to share this with you, but the outrigger actually gives a lot of extra support in um, how many pounds of loading capacity it has, so really good to consider. Oh, thank you guys for coming on. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will go ahead. Well, actually, let me finish really quick before I <laughs> yeah, ask the question. I was also thinking, so for other things that you could put on your toilet, if you don't have a wall next to your toilet, you could also put what's called a toilet safety frame. And toilet safety frames go directly on the stool of the toilet. They're like armrests for the toilet, if you wanna think about it like that. They don't make the toilet taller, they keep the toilet at the same height that it's normally at, but it'd just be like armrests that you would put your hands on, lower yourself on the toilet, stand up, hold on to it so you could lean and wipe easier. Um, there are stool risers that have armrests attached. I generally don't, um, um, if somebody has a good toilet height that works for them, I don't recommend making the toilet taller. You know, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But usually armrests are what most people need as far as slowly standing up, sitting down, and leaning over to wipe their bottom. The last thing that I will mention is what's called a floor to ceiling pole. So it, it, they're also called super poles, and I've had a lot of clients who've made a lot of jokes about super poles. So if you were to Google floor to ceiling pole um, or super pole, you can find them pretty much anywhere on um, <laughs> Amazon. I know, it's so good. Um, so you, you can pull those up on Amazon and see floor to ceiling pole. Um, a lot of them go up to 10 feet in height, so they should comfortably fit most bathrooms. And I do love those because you can put them wherever you need it. So some people, especially if they have small bathrooms, they'll put, if their toilet's right next to their tub shower, for instance, they'll just put it kind of in the middle so that way they can use it for getting on and off the toilet and in and out of the shower. It just kind of depends on your setup and what your abilities are in your home. And um, I will I will say that um, Ponte Giulio also has some floor to wall, some extra long floor to wall um, grab bars that are an option too. So like I said, just check out my store. Um, there are so many different options and please feel free to direct message me with any questions. I know there's like, I mentioned like 800 different products. So feel free to direct message me if you have any questions. And let's see, I have uh, the family who games together. I have an IV in one of my arms on a semi-regular basis. When it's in my dominant hand, I can't use that limb to wipe. My non-dominant arm is not very flexible at the shoulder as well as wrist and doesn't reach all the way back and I can't get properly cleaned like I'd like. Any suggestions? Well, this actually goes in um, with another question that was sent in where I talked to, um, um, where somebody had asked me, how do I bring up talking to somebody about um, using water instead of toilet paper in traditional, um, you know, like the traditional wiping sense? So um, I will tell you, I, I like to bring up the idea of using water instead of using just toilet paper for your consideration. Let me give you the, the water um, 
talk and then I will also give you some other options you can look into as far as wiping when you've got the IV in because oh, IVs just make you feel sore and I, I could totally understand why anyone would have issues with wiping. Well, I, I mean, I see it when I work in the hospital, but anyway, so when you were talking to somebody about using with water, um, I always mention the benefits of water. So usually I'm talking to them, we're talking about toileting and I'll say, you know, are you familiar with using a handheld bidet or a bidet seat? Um, using water is the most effective, gentle way to clean your skin, especially your delicate booty skin. And it is something to consider um, when you're having a hard time with reaching. I'll talk to this um, a lot with people who have shoulder problems, back problems, hip problems, and even knee problems can affect how people are wiping, how they're sitting on the toilet and being able to reach. So, um, Something that I would think about is with the um, bidets, um, that bidets are a good way to help you aim and spray water where you need to go, but also minimize kind of the movement of your shoulders, your backs, so you're feeling less pain, and then you're not really having to worry about um, the non-dominant hand. I'm sorry, I'm touching my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand. So you're not having to rely, you know, it's not moving as well, obviously, as your dominant hand. Um, so you're, if you're using some kind of bidet, it limits that movement and thus the pain. So with, I'll, I'll explain people the difference. So usually for my back people, I'll tell them bidet seats would be a better investment. But a really inexpensive way to get in, into any kind of bidet is to get a handheld bidet. They look like the kitchen nozzles um, or the kitchen sprayers from your sink. And they're very inexpensive, around $30 to give it a try. It plugs into the same water your toilet tank uses. And, but the only thing is with the shoulder and the upper arm issue or the arm issues that you're talking about, um, you would have to make sure that you're sitting on the toilet and putting the nozzle spray between your legs, either in front or reaching behind, which can cause, you know, you do need some range of motion in your shoulder and in your back, you may twist a little bit to get to where you need to spray and clean up after having a bowel movement. So that is a good way to be introduced with it and kind of feeling, you know, always, always, whether it's a handheld bidet or bidet seat, spray the water on the, uh, the palm of your hand so you can get an idea of the intensity and the temperature. Um, but that is one thing that you could think about when you have the IV in. The other option, like I brought up, is a bidet seat. Bidet seats nowadays, oh my gosh, they come in all kind of different price points. Um, when I first bought my bidet seat, I actually used my Amazon points and only spent $10 on it. So that was pretty good. Um, but as far as bidet seats, I like them because they're really easy to install on your existing toilets. Um, some of them are super fancy or um, and not super fancy, are very bare bones. Like I have a very bare bones one that goes just under my toilet seat. And so my husband and I adjusted it so it was positioned in the right spot for us where we can adjust the nozzle and spray where we need to spray. So it can take a little bit of tinkering, but that's it's so worthwhile once it's set into place. And then some bidets are a little bit fancier. So some of them, I have one that also came with a toilet seat and a lid to shut down. So I basically removed my old seat, put the nicer one on or the more expensive one because it has more options. And um, I, I adjusted it, I can easily adjust it, so um, it, it works for me, it works more for my husband, works for our visitors, whoever comes over and uses it. So with a bidet seat, you would have even less chance, or not chance, you would require less movement from your arms and your back you would basically um, just use the controls. Some are on a mounted control next to the toilet. Some are on a remote control that you can hold in your hand and beep, 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 which actually I prefer, especially for my back patients. But if you have the IV and you're okay with moving and pushing buttons on the side of the toilet, then I think that would work for you. Um, that way you'd feel thoroughly clean 
Um, the, the bidet that I have doesn't have, or it does have an air dryer function. And then you could have a choice in using toilet paper or a washcloth to just pat pat yourself dry. When you are thoroughly clean with the water, you'll find that you basically don't need to wipe whatsoever. The water thoroughly cleans you so that all you just need to do is just dry your bottom a little bit and then get your pants up and all those kinds of things. So let me know if there are any more questions. I probably gave you quite <laughs> the seminar. I didn't, didn't mean for that answer to be so long, but it kind of knocked out a couple questions at the same time. So I don't make this video like 800 years long. If you do have any, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to, there we go. I always wondered if they really worked well. You're convincing me, thank you so much. Good, I'm so glad. Yeah, there's all, I would definitely say, check out the reviews for the product. Um, but like I said, there's so many different kinds of um, price points and functions on bidet seats. You could absolutely pick out the one that works best for you. So. I, I would definitely highly recommend it. I think everyone should have a bidet seat to be honest. So I'm, we'll change the culture together. So I wanna thank you all so much for coming and watching this video. Um, if you do have any other um, toileting questions, please let me know, direct message me. Please share this video with a friend who you think um, um, either is looking for a bidet seat or maybe they don't have a wall next to their toilet and they're trying to look for different options. I'd so appreciate that. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next Tuesday on Instagram Live at 12 Central Standard Time. I believe my set will be done by then. I don't know, wish me luck, but it'll be done and I'll be able to show you, I'm so excited. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.